Obama loses IT after finding out the nasty connection daughter Malia had with Stephen Paddock. Barack Obama was among the first to get involved in assumptions being made in the immediate aftermath of the brutal Las Vegas massacre. Liberals never let a serious crisis go to waste and certainly proved that to be the case with their accusations and misplaced blame the second the shooter's identity was released. Now, the incident has just become personal for Barack Obama after learning of the sickening connection the killer had with his eldest daughter, Molly Obama. Barack systematically destroyed the nation over his two terms in office and hasn't stopped since being out. Unable to relinquish control of this country, he's continued down his path of destruction to deepen the divide by helping radical left-wing groups like Antifa to swell with power under his shadow government and doing his dirty work. We previously reported that Antifa materials were found in the shooter's hotel room he had it turned into a sniper's nest. Tying Barack to this atrocity through this ideology he's perpetuated and given increased power to. Now there's another unexpected connection that former president has to this domestic terrorist that's far more personal. In the days since Stephen Paddock committed the deadliest mass shooting in U.S. history, little information has been released about him or how he was able to carry out such a massive attack. We've not learned that the Route 91 concert in Las Vegas wasn't his first target as he had hoped to carry this same style of shooting out in Barack's hometown, specifically at a location where former first daughter Malia was a regular at. With so many massive open-air concerts for Paddock to choose from he had directed his plan of attack to take place two months prior to this one in Las Vegas. The Daily Mail reports that the killer had secured rooms at a hotel in Chicago directly overlooking the Lollapalooza festival area during its duration in August. Among the 400,000 attendees at this year's Lollapalooza was former President Barack Obama's oldest daughter Malia, and acts on stage included the killers, Chance the Rapper, Muse and Charlie XCX, according to the Daily Mail. Paddock had booked two rooms at the Blackstone Hotel in Chicago, across the street from Grant Park where Lollapalooza has been held since 2005, TMZ reports. Both rooms overlooked the festival area and Paddock would have had a similar view of the crowd as he had in Las Vegas during the Route 91 Harvest Country Music Festival on Sunday. Lollapalooza was held from August 3rd to 6th this year, and Paddock's two rooms were booked from August 1st to 6th and from August 3rd to 6th. TMZ says Paddock, 64, never showed up for his bookings at the hotel. The media was desperate to report that the killer was a right-wing extremist and gun-toting Trump supporter, but the fact is that he's just the opposite and reached this point of political-fueled psychosis from rhetoric funded by Barack Obama. The former president's own actions have come full circle, hitting him right at home since his daughter could have been among the victims, or at least suffer the horror of this hell. Prissy Holly reported Obama's connection to Stephen Paddock which could have been personally devastating to the Antifa-supporting president if the killer went with his initial Lollapalooza plans. Inside sources within the FBI hostage rescue team that they are now revealing that they found Antifa propaganda littered throughout the hotel room, an unfortunate fact for Obama who was busted by congressional investigators several months ago for funding radical left-leaning groups. Obama's Benghazi partner in crime, Hillary Clinton has blood on her hands too, as she was busted for giving Antifa terrorists around $800,000, although liberal fact-checkers like Snopes will try and deny this as the truth. The time for scoffing at Antifa, who many disregard as kids playing dress-up from the headquarters of their mom's basements, is over. Thanks to the funding they're receiving by Obama and pals, one of their very own members were able to pull off the deadliest mass shooting in United States history. Throughout modern history, the overwhelming majority of mass shooters have been liberal extremists, and Paddock is no exception to this trend. The fact that the mainstream media is so strangely silent on the details of the shooter and his path to this attack, is the answer that he wasn't conservative since if that were the case, there would be endless information available. While domestic terrorists act with intent fueled by extreme liberal ideology they don't always discern on who their victims are if the plan is just to kill as many people as possible. This could include those who have defended their anti-American stance, funded it, 
or supported it in any other way as Obama did. Perhaps when liberals personally suffer the results of this rhetoric, they will stop censoring the truth that is costing people their lives.